My dad, uh, when he got sober, I said, Dad, are you going to stay sober the rest of your life? And he, this is where the power of one more comes in. My dad says, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I can tell you this. I'm going to stay sober for one more day. And so when I went through that, my dad called me. I was really broke. My dad goes, you thinking about quitting? And I go, yeah, I'm close. He goes, just don't quit for one more day. He's so wise. And um, I didn't. And that not quitting for one more day and holding on would go to the next day and to the next day. But there were these glimpses in my life where it's like, you know what? I may not be the smartest or the best talker. I definitely don't have the highest IQ. I'm not the tallest dude or the strongest dude or the best looking dude or any of that. But um, I'm not going to get outworked. I'm going to outwork you. I'm going to do one more rep in the gym. I'm going to do one more phone call. I'm going to do one more email. I'm going to do one more text. Don't ever be ashamed of anything you've done in your life. Face it, fix it, make it better. Build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. You've faced your demons. You were able to hear all your past traumas. You're able to fucking say, okay, I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays. Talk about manifesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fucking real, man. Manifesting is real. When you figure out who you are and what you want to do, and you devote your life to it like a maniac, like you're all in on this thing, and you manifest, most of these people end up doing what they say they're going to do and being who they say they're going to become. It's real. And there's no excuses. There's no fucking days off. There's no, uh, you know, not willing to grind and... You know, the, the, everybody's against me and this didn't happen for me because of right. this and that and all this whining and, 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 and you know, pussy ass bullshit that a lot of people do these days. It's these people who dive in and they're hardcore and they're focused and they know what they want, they know who they are. And they lay out these short term goals and this roadmap on how to get there. Most of those people make it. All my life I thought I was this tough guy. Even reason I was talking about if they say something I'll blow it up. And I, and I do all this stuff all my life because I'm afraid. And if you tell me what I'm afraid of, I can't even tell you what. Fear is not about something. Fear is just your inability to manage your thoughts. They are running away ahead of you. Fear is always about something that's yet to happen, isn't it? Yeah. So that means you are suffering something that does not exist. Ninety-nine percent of the human population is in this condition. They are suffering things which do not exist. What happened ten years ago, they still suffer. What may happen day after tomorrow, they already suffer. What happened ten years ago does not exist right now. What may happen day after tomorrow does not exist right now. But things that don't exist, they suffer one of the most important studies that I've seen. I want to pass this on to you because it's a guarantee to double your income or more. What they found is they studied people who over the course of their careers had moved up to the top and become the presidents of major businesses, the biggest businesses in the world. And they asked, why are these people so successful? Well, here's what they found. In 25 years of research at the University of Florida, they boiled it down to a single concept called deliberate practice. What they would do is at each stage of their career, they would ask, what one skill will help me the most to move ahead now? They would look at the top people and say, what are the top people really good at? And then they would work on developing that skill. And they would work every day on that skill until they had mastered the skill. What is the worst advice you've ever received? Someone else can make you happy. Absolutely. They can make you a cup of coffee. Yeah. They can't make you happy. Maybe a man is better when he's a dangerous man who's being good than he would be if he was just a good man who wasn't capable of being dangerous. And I believe that because the best men that I've ever met are very dangerous men. You don't mess with them. It was 2012 in Aurora, Colorado. There was a, a shooting that happened there. So he enters the movie theater and he starts unloading rounds. Three men threw themselves on top of their girlfriends to use their bodies as shields. All three men died. All three women survived. If that is the kind of masculinity that you want to get rid of, we don't live on the same planet. There is no world in which somebody sacrifices themselves for someone that they love that you want to get rid of. Like, how can you tell me that that's something that we should get rid of that desire to protect? You lie to yourself and cheat yourself, well then 
you're not fooling anybody but yourself. But if you actually get up every day and you got that action, and you got that energy that's like, I have to go and do this because I'm trying to get here. And you know every day you're working towards that, well, you're going to get there. It may take you longer. Some may do it shorter, but you're not going to lose. Yeah. So I got addicted to winning. I'm going to cut out in a minute or two. My doctor says it's okay to exercise, but when it becomes a strain, you better quit. Man, your doctor don't know what he's talking about. That's what you want to do, strain. You want to run into the pain. You want to run until your throat feels like sandpaper. You want to run until it feels like you're going to throw up. You want to keep running until your legs are painted. Until you're going to die. You're going to fall out. You got to run until your stomach feels like it's going to burst. Until your heart starts pounding. You want to quit. Feels like you can't go another inch. Can't go another step. But you keep going. What kind of man is that? You should just go until you want to fall out in your tracks. And then after that, you've only gotten about halfway. Quit yelling at your kids before they go to bed and expect them to sleep well. Quit yelling at your kids in the morning right after they wake up before school and expect them to have a good day. You set the tone for your children. You set the tone for your, you set the tone for your voice. They will always remember in their heads. You become the inner voice. Don't be the inner critic. Speak life. Speak love. Speak bravery, kindness, and hope. Speak wisdom and truth. Most of all, listen to your children. I never had none of that. I get that to mine. And that's my number one priority. That's, I follow that. That's how I break it. And, um, and I do it. I live it. I live it. You know, that narrative shit. That's what they never wanted to pick up. Say. Damn, always keep going always no matter what happens the storm eventually ends and when the storm does end you want to make sure that you're ready do you know when i was homeless i told god every day if you let me make it when i get there i'm gonna tell everybody it was you well guess what i'm telling you that it was him I have no education. I ain't got a degree of any kind. What you see today is a boy that come out the bottom who believed in him when it wasn't no sign of me getting over, who kept doing this thing that his mother taught. She said, when it get dark for you and you can't find your way, and boy, I was lost. She said, don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. You have got to pray. And one of my favorite Chinese proverbs is, the man who blames others has a long way in his journey to go. The man who blames himself is halfway there. And the man who blames no one has already arrived. What is the best advice you've ever heard or received? Um, spend so much time on self-improvement that you have no time to criticize others. Love it. That is great advice.